that's it. <sighs> we got an intact power source, which is pretty good. But another sergeant, which is pretty not good. I really wish there was a way to equip that armor. Oh, I forgot to get them tanks. That's what I forgot to transfer. Or maybe not. No, maybe I didn't. Because I don't see tanks on the list. Akira has a tank. BP people... Does not have a tank. Okay, what's up with that? Did I transfer to the wrong base? No. I guess I need to build a tank then. Okay, one tank. And one more power suit. Chrysalid autopsy. The exoskeleton of this creature is extremely tough, but surprisingly vulnerable to explosive ammunition? That doesn't really make sense. The brain is well developed and its cell growth rate is very fast. The creature carries 20 eggs which are laid inside other organisms. This creature is a very effective party toy. I love effective party toys. Effective party toys make me moist. Uh, navigator. Let's go with that. It's nearly done. Okay, one power suit. Maybe like three. So we have some spares. Maybe like five. Now we have quite a few spares. It is clear that we're fighting a losing battle on Earth. That's not true because at the end of the game you are more powerful than the aliens because the game is not balanced. The alien hordes are overwhelming in number. The best we can do is slow down the progress. I guess that's technically true. The only hope of humanity is to tackle the aliens at their source. That's not true. Our research seems to indicate a nearby base of operations within our solar system. Aliens indicate this place to be... Aliens indicate... So... The funny thing there is that you can get alien origins without interrogating lots of live aliens. And it'll still say aliens indicate this place. But whatever. Aliens indicate this place to be the center of an ancient civilization that predates human history. Of course, we must locate this place as soon as possible. However, we need to capture, interrogate an alien leader to gain more detailed information. That oh, that's that's really that's really convenient. Because I have an alien leader, Echo leader. <laughs> okay. Sure. Let's hook him up with a few more scientists. That's irrelevant. Scilab, the Martian solution. The Martian solution we don't care about. Oh, actually, just for the hell of it, I'm gonna I'm gonna get this one really fast. But I think it's gonna make no sense if I get it this quickly. But I'm pretty sure it's going to reference something which doesn't technically exist yet. Skin is extremely tough and heat resistant. Okay, the cardiovascular system is part of the muscular system which uses the hydraulic principle to create motion. I don't know what that means. The cardiovascular system is part of the muscular system. So the lungs are part of the muscles. Okay, the only true muscle is the heart. The reproductive system appears to be very efficient. Reproduction is asexual with each snakeman carrying up to 50 eggs inside its body at any one time. So, if you look at this image, like, nearly the whole thing is just filled with eggs, which I don't think that really makes sense. If you have, like, enough space inside your body to just be full of eggs and, like, not have abnormal dimension dimensions, then the rest of your body is amazing and like really miniaturized. Left to its own devices, the species would be a severe threat to life on Earth. 
Also, not really, because although they're full of eggs, they're not implemented in the game. I have no idea why. Eggmen never do anything with their eggs, regardless of what you do the entire game. Which maybe that's kind of sad. Because it means there was something to do and they couldn't do it. Is there anything else I want to make other than the Retaliator? Not really. Let's go, boys. And the Retaliator has a name request already. Two of them are lonely. How sad. That looks very suspicious. It's right next to my base. Uh, might get butt destroyed in the case. Uh, this is confusing to look at. I think it was like going here. Maybe not. Might have just left. Again, it's right next to my base. Super suspicious. It's going to Paris. Please don't go to Paris. Whew. Okay, so the reason that going to Paris would be so bad is because when small guys go to Paris, like small UFOs like this one, go to Paris, it means they're infiltrating the government. It, it, they're not terrorizing. They're not large enough to carry a terror squad with them. They're only infiltrating. Take my soldier. This race developed in an extremely hostile environment. They're extremely tough and can resist extreme temperature variations. So, implicitly, they would be resistant against incendiary damage. The mobility depends on a snake like giant foot, which protects all of the vital organs. Their objectives appear to be purely predatory and they appear to be under the command of some other intelligence which directs their military style incursions on Earth. Uh, a silo with three people, that's gonna take a long time. Right, maybe the last deception for tonight. Unless, like, we got some research done. It's like approaching one o'clock. <laughs> uh, another rookie, so sure, why not? Wait for it to be daytime, and off we go. I say twenty-three. So this is going really fast. Usually. We would not be this far into the game yet. With only 23 crash, he doesn't have armor. <sighs> Hi, how's it going? So I basically can't get, let that guy leave the raft. <laughs> I actually hit him. This didn't kill him. Alright, uh, drop your smoke. And step aside. I suppose that didn't kill him. You can just drop that. The position is, if I can use my words, the position is fine. If it's just on the ground. Another one. Okay. Twenty-eight. 
21. Hmm. Might not be able to kill this guy. What? What? How did... How did you move squares without changing directions? So this guy definitely doesn't have enough time units. Alright, one shot. And miss. Well, let's hope no one dies. And this guy has to stay inside. Shot in the back is not easy to survive. But he's fine. That's good. Alfredo, it's time to deserve your sergeant rank. I think you just shot right through him. But I forgive you because you managed to hit him. Alright. Um, there's a shot from... Over here, I think. So I'll let my tank just take a... Keep an eye out on that. Oh, they're dead. Yeah, tank's dead. Beautiful. Where was that shot? It was from here. Not shot, um, snake man. We're running out of people with names. And losing the tank's not great either. Did not mean to click that. I hope these guys can get shot from the roof. Because the smoke cover's pretty bad from that angle. Oh my god, I thought they were going to be safe there. Clearly not. Pretty lucky that this guy didn't die there. Didn't take any damage either. Definitely move forward there. I want the Sky Ranger to block the line of fire from the roof. Speaking of which, time to breach. Oh, this guy's no time units, he shouldn't lead. Alright, so he's actually on the roof, not the second floor. Not quite what I had in mind. Fuck. killed Donald Trump. I don't know how you did that. It's not how sprinting is supposed to work. You sure. No line of fire. What about from there? You don't even see him. What? Oh god. He's gonna bleed out. Okay, um... The rookie will stand in front and take the shot. Oh, he can actually shoot? No, no, that's fine. Alright, well. Still died. Hey, rookie. Mm, I need flying suits. I need the extra armor. We lost Donald Trump, we lost one of Quinn's characters, I don't remember which one. We lost the tank. And... 
that's it. Wait, now we lost the third guy. I don't remember who. It might have been someone with no uh, special name. Hello. Good night. Oh god. Wait, you're gonna have to cover them. Hi. I think that's the last one. <sighs> okay. That was pretty bad. And I'm gonna need to get Hunter to give me more <laughs> names. Because <laughs> my Sinus guys are dying now. Um. Damn. We've lost so many guys after the base defense in that mission just then. Um, need to fix the armor problem. That was it. Perfect. Bring Bishu and Onigai and a rookie. Uh, no, that's fine. Oof. Alright. How far away are we from... This rifle clip. I think that's important. I think we need that to get... Um, a bit of gun for the ships. I kinda wanna build another one though. I don't have the money. Let's get the money. Uh, corpses. You guys like corpses in the grey market, hey? Mind probes, those are pretty useful. Um, that's a lot more UFO navigation than we'll ever need. You have nearly no Illyrium. That's extremely low for how much technology we have. That's really concerning, actually, because if you build the advanced ships, they they use Illyrium as fuel. Uh, fuel. If I can use my words. So we need to get a constant supply, otherwise the ships can't fly. And the request for this ship was Zeno. Capital Z. Uh, we have no guns for it. <laughs> uh, uh, what I might do is take the guns off the interceptor and give them to you know, and then transfer the interceptor to the other side of the world. Um, transfer. Where's the other side of the world? We have one in North America, so I guess we'll put one in. Painted mines? Do you have a hangar? You do. And we're good to go. Very large UFOs don't casually stroll around, they only go with specific reasons, usually because they're really pissed off when they're trying to kill you. I don't have anything that can shoot it while it's in the air. Uh, 
just running around. Okay. Oh, it, oh god. I'm just gonna terrorize the city for a second though. Uh, so they might have just found my main base. With all this patrolling. I mean, I guess technically, if they have found the base, it doesn't really matter. Oof, look at that retaliator go. Oh god. Is that the capital? No, okay, so it's probably just abducting some citizens or cattle or something. No one really cares. And we'll just shoot it down. If in fact we can shoot it down. There we go. Oh, okay. Oh, it's manufacturing. Got nothing going. What should we build? Another retaliator? Draw. Sure. Oh, it's actually slowing down, okay. You know, you probably have enough fuel to take it out. Um, yeah. Headed mines need some ammo there. I totally forgot about. Eh, maybe not. If but destroy, I can find them. Oh, an egg. Uh, you can have a stun rod. Why are you a rookie? You have good accuracy, good reactions, and you hold a lot of weight. The UFO doesn't look damaged, but we spawned in a corner, and the UFO is right in front of us, so this should be easy. Good. Sign up all my guys. Um, I might actually try and get some of the like mid experienced people to breach the ship this time. Yeah, like Hannah and whoever the hell this is. I think they've been like two missions and they somehow got promoted. You will observe. Alright, let's prepare the raid. Tank just moves forward slightly. I don't need it. Oh, hello. That door's open. I guess you'll chill there. Uh, it's a heavy plasma. Uh, run away. Actually, before you run away, let's breach the ship. They're all dead. God damn it! I wanted that power supply. Oh no, guy. That's really inaccurate. But he is firing a two-handed weapon, one-handed. That might be the only alien. Yeah. There's a lot of corpses in that. 
thing. Uh, no luck. Try again. Oh, no luck, go ahead. Oh, a million dollars. I like money. This is the most insidious form of alien activity. I would argue that dropping down in cities and terrorizing the population might be more insidious than abducting people. But, okay. The abduction by aliens is widely reported, despite the aliens' attempt to erase the experience from the victim's memories. Abductors report being subject to humiliating physical examinations, including impregnation of alien fetuses, lovely, and bizarre genetic experiments. The purpose behind this activity appears to be linked to the genetic mutation and manipulation of the aliens' own genetic material. This activity causes great alarm and occurs in populated, series, uh, populated areas or cities. Get that Scilab going. Wonderful. Four days. Another base. You have a lot of money. Uh, I'm gonna build one in Antarctica. There. Hmm. My house, because it's so fucking cold. Okay. I forgot the good base layout. Oh, it was this. Okay. Very small sectoid alien retaliation central Asia. Okay, so they're trying to find my base. And since they're moving to Asia, I'll send Xeno instead of the. I think it's A the Malinade, isn't it? No, it's Blood Destroyer. Lost in location, you'll find it. Maybe not. Red. There we go. Right. Get him, boys. I think we are slightly faster than them? Yeah, slightly. Boink. Oh. What? They're tiny. It's a one man UFO. Oof. All right. Where else needs which elevators? Mind one in Africa. Uh, Southern Africa. Which elevator to? I really want that new uh, craft gun. Average progress. Alien retaliation. Wonderful. Over water? Not anymore. And you're dead. But it's like daytime, nighttime, not daytime. The mind probe is an alien communication device which is used to take information directly from brainwaves. XCOM units can use this device in combat to display an alien's characteristics. Click on the mind probe and use the use option. And click on an alien with the cursor. Thanks. Very insightful. Um, oh, my my rifle got done. Please tell me a plasma cannon. Thank Christ. Okay. Get more people on that. That's important. More important than jokes as well. 
Oh, well, the jokes are pretty good too. Eighty damage. Not bad. Let's go. Now we're going on the map again. Didn't see anything there. Hey, hi, hello. Oh, well, that's the UFO. Everything out. What? Did it pop mid air? That's really weird. But okay. Let's throw another one. This cooking this game is <laughs> pretty awful. Her first mission. Because her stats are so awful. <laughs> Just like this guy. This is definitely his first mission. Hello. Um, I think that's a plasma rifle. Hey, buddy. Don't light fire. Hey, buddy. Well, kind of click the ground. No light fire. Uh, never mind then. Oh, you got him eventually. It's quite a bit of movement. Hello. So they got knocked out, they're not dead. Oh, they died there. Fuck. Wait, no, that's unconscious again. Right? Fuck. They died in their sleep. Rookie. Take him out. And then... Not... What I had in mind. Okay, sure. Tank. Go discover things. We need flying suits. And we need a bigger craft so we can fit more tanks. So that we can stop losing people. Sounds like the only ones left are in the ship. I'll take a small hit squad. Oh god. Tank didn't see it. Um. Line of fire, seriously? Oh, the tank gets in the way, is it? Damn. Not enough to fire now. You can only snap. And he still doesn't have a line of fire, that's so weird. I feel like he should. Two squares? Oh, okay, two squares, maybe not. If the tank can do it. Got him. I'm 
RPG. So there might be two sets of people. Aliens in the um UFO. Based on the amount of doors that are being opened. And how long they're taking. Yeah, I'm thinking that's just two. That was a heavy plasma. Let's see the other guy. Give Hannah a shot. Shame about the power source, it's again destroyed. Seems you don't get any other room. Unfortunately. Hi. Uh, stun? It's only a rifle. Any view of stun? Oh, perfect. I think this is the last one. Oh god. Okay. Uh, to buy two more dudes. <sighs> Party mission small. Uh, do you have any guns? Africa. Captain Africa. You have no guns. Okay, never mind. Where are you going? Southern Africa? Okay, you change course. Fair enough. I do not see any dudes. Hello. Okay, yeah, it's actually like past one o'clock. I managed myself to I am sleepy. Alright, oh, that's main base. Um Oh, 200k, that's too fucking cheap. Okay, I need to mod this mod. It's a good mod, but 200k is a lot cheaper than it should be. It should cost like 600k at least. I think. Because the interceptor costs 600k. And like, this is like an interceptor with extra bits. Granted, the extra bits you have to consume to make it, but still, it should really, I double space that, it should really cost more than it does. <laughs> 